Hi, Verbling. Welcome to this advanced listening class. My name is Lauren, and I'm very excited for the topic of this class. I think you will all find it very interesting. Um, I'm just seeing Hamid. I'm, I'm seeing what you're writing in the chat, and I will check my messages after class. Um, for those of you who are new to Verbling, I'm just going to post right now my Facebook and Verbling information in the chat over here if you would like to get updates to my classes. Um, Hamid, for example, right now, he has been messaging me on Facebook so that I can help him with his uh, TEFL course, as an example. So I'm always here if you have any requests for classes that you think will help you in either school or in conversations or if you want to practice speaking I always appreciate oops, I always appreciate suggestions for classes um, great I'm just putting that in the chat now there we go uh, and welcome into the hangout Hamid how are you today I am okay and uh, a little bit nervous because I will go to uh, journey Yesterday I mentioned, if you remember. The TEFL in a month. No, no. I mean, I will go to National Chemistry Congress. Oh, right, right. Of course. How could I forget? I'm so sorry. <laughs> when did you go? When is it? Not today. Uh, almost uh, five hours later, uh, I will go to buy bus. So you mean in five hours? Yes, in five hours. In five hours, so that means in the future, in five hours. Great! Why are you nervous? I'm sure it's excellent, Hamid. Maybe uh, you can guess uh, before the journey, uh, everybody uh, should be or uh, could be nervous. I know, I know. We have an expression. We say, um, we say, I have butterflies. You know butterflies, right? Yes, yes, butterflies I in have, stomach. Yeah, butterflies in my stomach. Yes, uh, I know it's, it is meaning. Yeah, I put it in the chat there, butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> um, great, well, I, I hope that this class calms you down a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, great, and welcome to Aida. Hello, Aida. Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Oh, I'm great too. Happy great. to be in your class. Me too, me too. Great, and um, I think I already mentioned this to you, but um, Verbling is looking for Spanish teachers to create courses. Course, courses? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I will look so, at it. Yeah, and you have to reapply. So it's a little different than what I'm doing here. It yeah. is. It's, well, it's better <laughs> because you put together like a, like a five class course or a ten class course. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen courses before on Verbling, right? Yeah, I have seen English courses. Mm -hmm. So they're looking for, for uh, very, very organized and excellent teachers in Spanish to create Spanish courses okay, as well. Thank you. I will look it. Thank yeah, you. definitely. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. And welcome back, Blanca. Hi. <laughs> Blanca, I'm, I'm sorry, but now every time I see you, I'm going to remember your story from yesterday. <laughs> so I can't hear you. It's like... Oh, you can't hear me? Bad. What about yeah, no, now? Could, could, yes, could you repeat it? Sorry. I said every time I, I see you from now on, I'm always going to remember your Christmas story. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and welcome to Giovanni. Hello, Giovanni. Hi. Hi, Lauren. Uh, I'm pretty good. And uh, I'm so glad to join your class. And, I'm looking forward to uh, to starting uh, this this interesting lesson that uh, you are going to 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 take. Okay. And, uh, Yay! I'm yeah. sure you'll find it interesting. I hope you. I'm talking about a very famous news story. So maybe you have heard of it before, but I hope that you haven't. Okay. So it's new. Okay. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, great. And welcome to um, Muna. Hello, Muna. Hello. Hi. How are you today, Muna? Fine. <laughs> Good. Good. Muna, I don't think I've met you before. Have You have never come to one of my classes, right? Yes. Good. Well, welcome this time. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> Where are you from? Algeria. Algeria. Oh, great. Yes. Well, very nice to meet you. And uh, so, maybe, maybe Muna, you can add a profile picture so we can see your face. Okay. Next time. Next yes. time. And same with you, Giovanni. We have your camera, but we um, see if you can add a profile picture. You know what I mean, Giovanni? Are, are you talking with me? Are you talking mm -hmm. with me? Sorry, sorry, I didn't yeah. understand what you. Oh, that's okay. Uh, maybe next time you can make you can put in a profile picture. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So see, like in the chat, we all have our picture. Maybe yeah. you can put one in too, just in case one day your camera is off. It's just nice to see our our students' faces. Okay, I got it. Thank you. It's like a real class. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, Thank I you. I pretend in my head it's a real class. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, great, and welcome to Onur. Hello, welcome back, Onur. Hello, Laura. How are you? Hi, I'm great. How have you been? Uh, not far away, <laughs> but uh, I have the works to do, so I cannot join. Uh, you cannot join regularly. Yeah, 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 regularly. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's okay. It's nice to have you when you can come. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Thanks. You're welcome. And welcome back to Ricardo. Hi, Ricardo. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Ricardo from Sao Paulo, Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo, I want to say I was so sorry yesterday when your connection was not working. Uh, yes. Okay. No problem. I felt so yes. bad. I, but, of course, there's yeah, nothing yeah. I can do, but... No problem. Teacher. Okay. <laughs> um, and welcome back to Renat. Hello, Renat. Hello, Lauren. How are you? Hi. I'm great. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. So uh, I have to ask, uh, Lauren, uh, your second name is Tanya, right? Yes. Uh, in Russia, it is very popular name. Uh, so do you have Russian relatives? <laughs> no, no. My mother is Italian, and she said uh, she used to have a friend whose name was Tanya and she who was Russian and she said mm -hmm. it was the most beautiful name she loved that name so she gave me that name I see mm -hmm. nice name <laughs> thank you I like it too <laughs> mm -hmm. yes I think it goes well with Lauren Lauren Tanya I like it yeah, right. <laughs> um, great um, and we got Goliath joining us as well hello welcome back Goliath hello how are you? I'm great. How are you? Well, I'm fine. I'm just uh, came from work. I'm exhausted as usual. <coughs> what time is it for you? Seven or eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. Uh, I am. And uh, you look great today. Thank I like you. your shirt. It's very <laughs> nice. Very lovely. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. You know, when I was younger, I used to spend so much time making it straight, and now I think. Uh, what is it? About the, what? what? The, the hair. No, I was talking about the shirt. Oh, the shirt. Well, thank you. Thank and, you very much. Yeah, because already <laughs> we talked about your hair is very lovely. <laughs> oh, thank the you. Way it is. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, okay, so uh, I, I have taken Blanca, and, and welcome again, Blanca. So. Last time I did an advanced listening class, but Blanca said I think it was a little too easy, and I agree with her. I read out maybe four lines, and then I asked you the question. So this time, I'm not going to give you any questions, or I'm not going to show you what I am reading until after. After I've finished reading, I will show you the questions, but I will not show you what I am reading because I want you to really pay attention uh, by listening. Okay? Okay. okay. 
there are a few um, words that I want to ask you about. Um, a few vocabulary words. Do you know what a canyon is? Yeah. Can canyon. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, we, uh, I guess, uh, I guess uh, Blanca maybe and me uh, know from Hina. What? Oh. I mean, I mean, teacher Hina uh, visited a great uh, canyon in San Francisco. So yeah. I know from there. The Grand it's Canyon. A, I thought it was in Colorado. Am I wrong? Uh, it's in Nevada. Ah, Nevada, yeah. It's mm -hmm. the, the, this valley with water and high mountains. Ah, the mm -hmm. Grand Canyon. I think the Grand Canyon is called that. It is, yes. But there are many canyons in the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, a canyon, and you have the right idea, is when, let's say, uh, there is a big mountain of rock, but in the middle there is a space. So maybe there's a river in between, but it goes very high up like this. And maybe there is a river in between the canyon or something. Or maybe no, maybe the canyon goes all the way down very deep into uh, the earth. Um, but I just wanted to make sure. It's like a valley with the steep, very, very steep sides. Do you know the word steep? Yeah. Steep. What is steep, Aida? When it's not horizontal, it's like, uh, for example, a steep slope in a mountain. It is. Yeah, like yes. this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So when you have two steep slopes uh, and you fall, you're definitely going down, right? Okay, yeah. so. Yeah. It's a slippy slope. Do you know this uh, idiom? I do, a slippery slope. <laughs> slippery slope, yeah. That's a really good idiom. I'm going to put this here. Slippery. Yeah. What do you mean? Can I, can, I, can I add something? Yes, please, Onur. Uh, there's a very, very beautiful valley in the Turkey. Uh, if you uh, come in Turkey, uh, mm -hmm. you must see that. Um, the name is Ihlara. Ihlara Vadisi. Ihlara Valley. Ihlara? Ihlara, yeah. Ihlara. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The first Christians, uh, which uh, fear of the Romans, um, make a settlement in that valley. There's too much uh, home in the um, carvings, right? Carvings? In the rocks. Mm -hmm. they, they, they carve the rocks and I'm make, glad you're uh, saying make, that because that is yeah. in the story I'm going to read you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. Uh, it's it's very 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 beautiful. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I I love being outside and the outdoors. Um, so that's why I guess this story is so interesting. I have a question. If you were going to go, let's say, climb a canyon or be around a canyon, what is a good idea to do? What is the what is a good idea before you go to the canyon? What what should you do? To take a compass with you. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, safety equipment. Mm -hmm. And Lauren, I want to say one thing. Uh, if you remember, I uh, presented my a city. Poem? Oh, no, your city. No. Mm -hmm, your yes, city. Uh, if you remember, and mm -hmm. I also said uh, Cappadocia region. So uh, I also presented Ihlara Valley, if you remember. Oh, I didn't know that was the same one. It's it the same. It is, yes, it's the same. Oh, cool. Yes, I've seen that one then. I have seen it, Onur. Um, it's very cool. It's got, like, um, very old architecture. Like, not yeah. fancy. Yeah. Very, like, in the mountains, in the rock. Oh, I love it. Um, but let's continue. So we know what a canyon is. What does it mean if you are in dire straits? Means, uh, means that we listen to the band Dire Streets. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Anyone have an upset. idea? I, I checked about their name, but I forgot. Uh, yeah, something okay. that they have, don't have money. Oh, 
Oh, well, it could be. Uh, and yes, um, Renat, you're definitely upset if you're in dire straits. So when you're in dire, if something is dire, it means desperate. Mm. You, if, if I, right now, uh, let's say I have no money, okay? I am in dire straits. I, I have no money to feed myself. So that's, uh, I was right, because I checked it uh, two years ago, or three years, that means uh, they don't have money, they bankrupted, something like that. It could be, but could let's be. say, um, let's say you're, you're driving in the desert and your car runs out of gas. You could have all the money in the world, but you are still in dire straits, right? You're in dire straits, you're desperate, you're, what do you do? There's no one. No one is around. Your car is dead. Your cell phone has no signal. What do you do? Right? So this is a dire strait. When you are desperate and you, you do not have many options. Mm, I see. Yeah. Mm, maybe we can get M Muna because you're a new student. I'm going to pick on you. <laughs> do you want to try to explain to us one more time what is dire strait? I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. What about uh, uh, Blanca? What is dire straits? Uh, for example, talking about the canyon, imagine yourself uh, in the canyon with all the uh, with all the cold weather, and you have no light. Yeah. And, and what does the word dire mean? Uh, you're desperate because you you may be frozen or something like that because you don't have any light mm -hmm. or any blanket to cover. Mm -hmm. Right? So, Muna, does that make sense? You're desperate. Desperate. Uh, yes, yes. Good, good. Um, okay, next one. Spur of the moment. What does it mean to do something in this spur of the moment? I put it in the chat. Spur of the moment. Does anyone know? No idea. What okay, is the, the word? Spur of the moment is an expression that means uh, in this moment I want pizza. So I buy pizza in the spur of the moment. I do not plan it. Immediately opinion. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, Improvise? I think, uh, improvise? Yeah, improvise. Yes, that was another w word I was going to ask you. Improvise. You are improvising. Well, uh, okay, class, I, I did not prepare for class. What do you want to talk about? That would be a spur of the moment. Like, well, maybe we don't want to do a, a listening class because everyone's talking. So on the spur of the moment, we will continue having and just a speaking class instead of listening. So last, uh, last minute decision. Yeah. Last minute yes. decision. It was a Sunday class. It was a Sunday if, class. If I, if, sorry, sorry, yes. teacher. If I'm not... Yeah, yeah, Blanca. <laughs> If I'm not wrong, there is another expression that perfectly describes this, this verb is off of the cuff. Off the cuff. Yeah, off the cuff. Hand cuff? Off of the cuff. The off hand the cuff? cuff? Yeah, I mean, this is a cuff. But it means yes. like, uh, I think the expression is off the cuff. When you get out of jail, when you get out of jail, let's say, you have no plans. No plan. So whatever you do is like, ah, I want to do this, I want to do this. You don't, uh, and the idea is, in the moment, you decide. Yeah. Ah, I, I will do this. For example, uh, Lauren uh, will sing a song, so it is a moment, <laughs> I moment idea. Spur of the moment idea. Yes. Spur of the moment. And it's a funny word, but that's what it means. And Blanca is exactly right. Blanca, do you remember what happened in that class? Yes. Remember. What happened? <laughs> we started talking about uh, all the uh, politicians and it was a very interesting topic because we prefer to talk about it than attending the class. You can remember the topic. It was, we were supposed to talk about homonyms. Uh, yes. I it was so. a vocabulary class, but instead, yes. Blanca was asking a girl from Italy. I think her name was, started with I, a T. I don't remember. But it was a girl, uh, two girls from Italy, one from Argentina, from Spain. Mm -hmm. from, well, well, it was interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. So, spur of the moment, the class description said, 
vocabulary. We will learn homonyms. But because Blanca was asking these questions, the class was too interesting. I did not want to say, stop talking. Let's talk about homonyms. So spur of the moment, we had a speaking class. That's what spur of the moment means. You plan one thing maybe, but you're going to do whatever you think of in the moment. Uh, and off the cuff, yes, that's, it. that's the same expression. Off the cuff, you do something off the cuff, spur of the moment, same thing. Okay, next word. What is drastic? Drastic. Severe. Severe, yes, Giovanni. Uh, sudden. Drastic. It doesn't need to be sudden. Drastic means severe. That's a good word, Giovanni. I'm putting it here. <laughs> I just checked my dictionary. It's written so extreme and sudden. Extreme. Radical. It could, it could be sudden, but not necessarily. Radical, okay. yeah. So, for example, um, uh, what if right now I said, okay, everyone, I quit verbling. Goodbye. <laughs> That's a <laughs> that would be like a drastic, a like, wow, that was a drastic decision. Calm down. Uh, whoa. Right? It would be like, what if um, China and Canada said, I have an idea. You be communist and we will be, um, we will be democratic. Let's switch. Yeah. That's, drastic, uh, drastic. That's it's silly, not drastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, you know what I mean. It's like something yeah, yeah. that is extreme, extreme. Like everyone who hears about this will say, oh my God, what? Drastic. Mm. It means the same as severe, extreme. Surprising. Surprising. Yes. Um, good, okay. And uh, what does the word amputate mean? means uh, to cut uh, off something leg or or a, or a hand mm -hmm. amputation yep exactly when you, you you sometimes we use i don't know in my in french amputate salary you 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 cut of some amount of salary of, as a punishment <gasps> oh i've never heard of that before uh, it's I in french it's in french i mm. don't know i'm asking if it exists in English. I don't know. I don't know a lot about economics. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't, I have never heard of it, but maybe it exists. I don't know mm -hmm. a lot about that. Amputate, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's what it means, right? To, yeah, amputate, to cut uh, off. So. Yeah, or, or for example, I, um, t Terry, uh, maybe you don't know Terry Fox, but let's say I'm working with a machine and my finger gets cut off. Yeah, Maybe I will get another finger, a fake finger, plastic, to go there. This is amputating, right? No, but sorry, yes, amputating yes. is not uh, in accidentally. It's del deliberately or some someone amputate. But uh, mm -hmm. when you had accident, I don't know. We don't. It's amputation means. Well, uh, I, I think personally, I I um. It, it is used to say, for example, his finger got cut off at work, so he had to yeah. amputate it, right? Yeah. They don't just leave it. You have to go to the hospital and get that it was, properly. Yeah, that was an accident. It's cut off. And when you, they cut it uh, uh, with the surgery, they say amputation. Mm, so well, it's, uh, it's that is a good distinction. Absolutely. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, that is a good distinction, Goliath. I just mean, in everyday speech, sometimes we will say, but you're definitely right about the, about the, uh, the definition. So, any questions about this so far? Lauren, can I ask you a question? Yes, Renat. The, the story, uh, is it connected with a film? With, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I think I know Renat. what it's about. Ooh, okay. Okay, don't tell us yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, and what does, so we already talked about uh, improvising. Do you know what the word ingenuity means? Ingenuity? Yeah. Ingenious? Genius? From, from yeah, genius. what does that mean? It means uh, something uh, that is uh, uh, intelligent, made, made, make, made, made uh, by uh, intelligently. Mm-hmm, exactly.
Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I was on mute. No, no, that's exactly what it means. Right? Very, very smart. In, what did you say, Blanca? You did type the word. I couldn't listen. To oh, yes. Uh, Lauren, Ingenuity. can you? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, telling you to to it's write like it. Naive. Ingenuity. Yeah. Like naive. Ingenuity. Not naive, Blanca. No. Did you say naive? Yes. Yeah, it's similar. It's different. Yeah, it's different. It's actually like mm -hmm. probably the opposite. Uh, well, not the opposite, but okay. So naive is when, uh, for example, I come my my inexperienced my mm -hmm. first verbling class. I went to class and said, okay, everyone, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> and I didn't know what I was doing because I was okay. very naive. I would that say, is, yeah, okay. it's a skill at inventing things and the thinking of new idea. Yeah, sure. And it doesn't need to be inventing. It just means being creative. Having yeah. an ingenuity is like being creative. Like to 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 create a, a car with uh, uh, working with water. It's really ingenuity. Ingen ingenuous. Ingenuous. <laughs> yes, ingenuous. Yes, good, good. Uh, okay, and now I've got another one. What does it mean if something is grueling? It's very uh, tired. Yes, Aida. Go on. Mm, for example, if you are talking about uh, a grueling day or a grueling match, is you have is because you have to make a great effort because mm, so finally you feel really tired, exhausting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something. something that's really difficult. Absolutely, difficult, that makes yeah. you tired. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I was walking so long today. It was grueling, so difficult, yeah. and so. Um, tiring and punishing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think Renat knows exactly the story I'm going to tell you. But does anyone else know have an idea of what I'm going to tell you? No. Ooh. Okay, Renat. Okay. It is a very interesting story. I think. Yay. Okay, I'm going to start reading now. After I start reading, then I will give you the link. Okay. So after I start reading, I will give you the link. Okay. Oh, give me one second. I'm sorry, my Google Drive has been difficult to access sometimes. Okay, we're good. Here we go. Aaron Ralston, a 27-year-old mountain sports fanatic from Colorado in the USA, found himself in dire straits along in a, alone in a canyon in the desert when a 500 kilogram rock fell crashing down the canyon to smash his right hand and trap it against the canyon wall. A terrible accident, but the situation was made all the more serious because on, the, on this occasion Aaron had failed to tell anyone where he was going. At this last minute the plans for a trip with his climbing partners had fallen through and on the spur of the moment he decided to head out on his own to cycle up a long mountain trail, leave his bike and then walk down the Blue John Canyon. No one had the slightest idea where he was. After three days of not seeing or hearing any sign of life, Aaron realized he would die if he did not do something drastic. The course of action was horrific, but there was no other way. He would have to amputate his right hand. Fortunately, he had a small multi-purpose knife with him that he, would, that he had some straps that he could use to make a tourniquet to stop himself from bleeding to death when he, made, when he cut the arteries. The knife had two blades. When he, t when he tried with the larger blade, he found that it was too blunt to cut the skin. The following day, he finally found the courage to try the shorter blade, and with that, he managed to cut through the skin. Only when he had made a large hole in his arm did he realize that he, it was going to be impossible for uh, going to be impossible to use any of the little tools on his knife to cut through the bones. After another whole 24 hours of pain and despair, the idea of strength came to him, and in a flash, on the sixth day, with a final burst of energy, he broke both bones in his arms and freed himself. This ordeal was not over, though. He was still a long way from help. 
He had to carefully strap up his right arm and find a way of lowering himself down a 20 meter drop in the canyon with a rope and only his left arm doing so. And then walk 10 kilometers back to his car. Despite his ingenuity and all of his efforts, he would have he would have bled to death if he hadn't been if it hadn't been for a very happy coincidence. The moment he got out of the canyon into the open desert, a rescue helicopter just happened to be flying overhead. One of the doctors at the hospital recalls t being impressed to see Ralston walk into the hospital on his own, in spite of his injuries and the grueling experience of being in the desert six days with almost nothing to eat and only a couple liters of water. He described the amputation as remarkable. It's a perfect example of someone improvising in a dire situation, he said. He took a small knife and he was able to amputate his own arm in such a way that he did not bleed to death. It's amazing. Slim and pale with short reddish-brown hair, Ralston believes that his story was not simply about an isolated individual who rose up to a formidable challenge. No, for him, this was a spiritual dimension to the experience. In, the, in his news conference, he said, I may never fully understand the spiritual aspects of what I experienced, but I will try. The source of the power I felt were, uh, was the thoughts and prayers of many people, most of whom I will never know. Of the, moment, uh, of the moment where he finally cut off his arm, Aaron said, At last I was free. I liberated myself. I dropped back against the canyon wall for the first time in six whole days. My feet were in a different part of the canyon than where I had been trapped. And my body, all of a sudden, was overcome with euphoria. It was as if I was recalling all of the happiest moments of the past 27 years of my life and tasting them in the promise of at least another 20 years of life. I was reborn, having been standing in my grave, writing my will, and scratching rest in peace on the wall of the canyon. All of that was gone. I was alive again. It was undoubtedly the sweetest moment that I would ever experience in my life. Okay, I hope no one is sick <laughs> about well, that story. Yeah. I'm not sick. I'm I'm impressed about this will, uh, the will, the iron will of this, <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Iron will. That's a really good expression. Yeah. What is iron? What What is iron? I R O N. It is a chemical element. It's it's uh, like what's metal? steel? Uh, what is yeah, called? Yeah, like Blanca uh, says, it's metal. It's yeah, a it's metal, metal and chemical iron. element too. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, yeah. it's uh, symbols uh, F E. <laughs> yeah, F E. <laughs> it's a steel, like a steel. Ferrum. Uh, it's it is coming from a uh, ferrum. Mm -hmm, exactly. So when we say your will, what is your will? It's something yeah. inside of you. Your, your will. Uh, determination. Your determination, exactly. Devotion. So if we say your determination is like like steel you cannot break it that is what that's what Goliath said iron will is like determination that is strong like metal you can't break it so uh, does anyone have any uh, anything they want to um, to express first Do, has anyone heard that story other than Renat no it is a real story Sure. Oh yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. yeah. I know. It's crazy. And I, I know. <laughs> I know it's real. It looks like real. And it is real. Uh yeah. Renat, you saw the movie? Yes. How did you like it? Oh, it was it was impressive. And I think this guy is uh, very brave. I don't mm -hmm. know what uh what I uh, would do. If I, if I was in his situation, I know, I know. Well, I have a couple questions, so now I'm going to give you the link to uh, my questions, and I'm going to ask you more as we, um, as we discuss. There we go. I'm also going to put it in this chat. Honey, I see that you're typing in the Google chat. Have you seen the Verbling chat? Giovanni? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I have some problems with, with, with the chat. I'm here. And, uh, okay. 
it's clear now. It is yeah. clear. Do you see it? But do you see the verbling ch uh, classes chat? In, er, now, yes. yes. Now you do. Yes. Good. Yes, yes. Now, yes. But Can uh, you? It, yes, it was a great exercise for me because I, I, I was uh, concentrating on your uh, speech. So uh, uh, I think that I got what, what you what you read. Uh, what you had read and uh, okay it's a good exercise for me a good good practice. good yeah. good um I was reading at the pace at the pace or at the level the speed the level of speed of a news reporter so that is yeah. how you would if you were listening to let's say Canadian or American news that is the speed at which they talk okay it's a good mm. exercise yeah yeah um, okay, I'm going to screen share this. So before we, I, I want to make sure we have enough time to get through the questions. So before we talk about the quest, uh, before we talk about the vocabulary review, which I will ask you individually to uh, give us some definitions for these again. Uh, who wants to try explaining exactly how did his arm get stuck? A Who wants to try that? A rock crashing. And do you remember how heavy that rock was, Blanca? Uh, 25. Uh, 25. It is a uh, 5 kilograms. Uh, oh, Hamid, weight. Hamid, don't interrupt. <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry, Blanca, go ahead. I think it was 25, I don't know, uh, kilograms mm -hmm. or, or pounds, or I, I don't know. That's okay. I was, I said the number pretty quickly. It was five hundred. Uh, five hundred. Oh yes, it's uh, yes. Sorry. That's 500, okay. And I think it was descending when the rock crashed him. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. And you know, it didn't even say that, but you caught on. Like it didn't specifically say that word descending. So that's you're absolutely correct. Um, good. And uh. What about uh, why were the circumstances surrounding Aaron's adventure? When I say circumstances, I mean what made this situation worse? How? Uh, why was he hiking alone? There's a hint for you. He was hiking alone because his 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 plans had fallen through. Mm -hmm. He had planned with some friends, but finally, their plans fallen through. Uh, so he decided to go by by himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think he didn't tell to anyone where he's going. This is the worst and the big mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both both of them are the exact circumstances I was looking for, and absolutely, mm. Goliath. Uh, in fact, I. Uh, learned this story because someone told me about it because I knew that the movie was out but I didn't think it was a real story and someone was telling me no go research because if you are going hiking you have to make sure that someone is always uh, you have to let's say call someone and say I will call you when I get home and this mm. is where I am going mm. yeah. right yeah if uh, in case you're not uh, uh, in time at home, they will uh, start to worry, and they will uh, have uh, to, uh, they will do a res re research or to search uh, for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and uh, Aida, do you want to explain what does that mean if plans fall through? Mm -hmm. It means that. Um uh, if you have some something planned, but finally uh, mm, something occurs, something happens that mm, that that makes your plan. Mm, I don't know how to explain. Crushed. That, what? It's like it cancels your plans. Yeah, that cancels your plans. Be for example, if mm, you are planning to go. Uh, to the mountain, but suddenly uh, it didn't. It began, It rains a lot, so you have to. Your plans maybe can be falling through because you can't go. 
you can go do do the rain circumstance so you can, the plants have solid problems through exactly exactly thank you Aida it's like an expression your plans have fallen through it's like if this is your plan they have fallen now there's no plan so that's how you can remember it your plans fell through all vanished or gone yeah vanished gone but it, it would it it's really common to say fallen through or my plans got cancelled mm -hmm. My plans fell through or my plans were cancelled. Great. Uh, let's continue. Uh, Muna, our new student, is there a specific question that you would like to answer? Muna? Mute yourself. Oh, maybe Muna. Muna, we can't hear you, so maybe you are on mute. If you are on mute, Muna, just click the red button right here. There's a little red button. Make sure it is not red. Okay, I'll give you a few minutes. Uh, what about Ricardo? Ricardo, do you have a question you would like to answer? Okay, I can answer the, the three, okay? Mm -hmm. How exactly did he ampute um, his arm? What? Mm -hmm. What was the worst part of this process? Good. What do, you, what do you think is the answer to that question? So, can you describe to me, what did he do? How did he amputate it? Try to remember with, as many details. With the knife? With the knife, with double edge. Yeah. Oh, g give Ricardo a chance. Ricardo? With the knife, a little knife. Yeah, and there were two parts to that knife. Do you remember? No. There are two parts. That's okay. Two and parts. um does anyone does anyone else remember now? Uh, were, there were two parts to the knife. Does anyone yeah, remember I thought, that? Detail? I thought you were talking to us, so that's why I interrupt. I don't know that you were talking to Ricardo. Oh, that's okay, Goliath. That's okay. No. But so what about you, do you know the answer to this question? Yeah, one in, only one was blunt and the other I and Larking. he couldn't uh, cut the bone. Sharp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one, there. Have you ever seen one of those? Not. It's like this, and the knife is like inside of it. Here, I'll show you a picture. They're very common in Canada. Uh, it's called a pocket knife. So one that you, you, you can curve. You can curve. Hmm. Here, like, like this. Like Switzerland. Uh, yeah, knife. like a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, like this. Yeah, Switzerland. So, this. Yeah, he had like a uh, something like this. So it had two two knives on it, and the one this one was too blunt. Blunt. Blanca, what does blunt mean? It's the uh, Blanca. Okay. Not <laughs> Not sure. Sure. I think uh, opposite of sharp. I mean, it's not. It, it can cut or something like that. Mm -hmm. If I use my finger to cut, it won't work. My That's finger <laughs> is 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 too blunt. Maybe my nail will cut, but my nail is still blunt. A knife is obviously less blunt, and it is sharp. Yeah, yeah it's, it's more like we say, uh, let's cut our veins with cookies. Let's Good cut one. our. Say it again. Veins with cookies. Let's cut our veins with cookies. Oh, <laughs> now you're making me hungry, Blanca. Yeah. <laughs> can you type the word in the verb in the Berlin chat, please? Blunt. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, they say, bye, Hamid. <laughs> they say uh, diamond cuts diamond. Yeah, so di diamonds sharp. have to cut themselves. Yeah. Because you need them to be equally sharp. Does did anyone remember? So why did he ever use the big blade? <laughs> Sorry, Ricardo. Ricardo, I'm just gonna mute you for a second because we're hearing maybe a TV in the background or something. 
Um, okay, well, it said that the knife, they, there was a sharp one, sharp, uh, sorry, a big knife. It was too blunt. It would not even cut into the skin. So he mm. needed to use the small one. And then, oh, it's crazy. It's a crazy story. Uh, but let's continue. Uh, who has not answered a question yet? Hmm. Uh, what about Renat? Renat, uh, number four. Once he finally cut his arm, was, was he safe? Was everything good once he finally cut it off? No, I think yeah. uh, because uh, his bones uh, were uh, not, not cut, at all. I, I don't know how to say. How to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Okay, and so, yeah, sorry, go on. And uh, he uh, couldn't uh, cut uh, his bones with uh, his knife. Mm -hmm. uh, so he just, um, I don't know how to say, maybe damaged. Broke. Broke, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he, he, <laughs> he was safe. And so uh -huh. was he safe once he cut the arm off? What happens, at the, what happens at the end? That's okay, um, Rina. We can ask someone else. No, I can try. Um, mm. he, mm, he, get, he got off uh, the... Mm, the canyon. Mm -hmm. And um, and met the rescue um, rescue crew or mm -hmm. rescue helicopter. Yes, yes, good, Renat. Good. And uh, mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to say welcome to Isa. Hello, Isa. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you today? Doing well, thank you. Good. Did you hear when I was reading the article? Um, I couldn't hear what you were reading. So, oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, we talked about a man who had to he had to cut his own arm off because okay. he was stuck. In the in a canyon. Okay. But you will understand as you listen to your classmates. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So for anyone else, uh, did he call a rescue helicopter, or how did the rescue helicopter find him? Does anyone because, know? He, because he when when he. When he got out of the canyon and uh, began to walk in the desert, uh, unfortunately, a helicopter appears and and she and she him. It was like luck. Yeah, it was really lucky then. Yeah, he, he was really lucky. Yeah, it was a coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yes. Yeah. Maybe they were looking for him. That's why the helicopter was flying over there. Definitely, I think but that's... This is the part I don't understand. Mm -hmm. He doesn't tell anyone where he's going. How come there is a helicopter looking for him? Um, it was an, he said he was at a park, or not a park, but let's say a national park. It is very big, of course, but um, in the United States and in Canada, very often uh, we just have rescue helicopters for no reason just to make sure there's no problems. Yeah, but the Grand Canyon is very big and very large area. Oh, this isn't the Grand Canyon. Ah, so what This was another canyon. It was called uh, the... The Tiny Canyon? <laughs> in a canyon. But Where he was had it? been lost for six days, maybe. The Blue somewhere. John Canyon. He had been mm -hmm. lost for six days. Maybe someone noticed something strange. I, don't I know. think he was, he was lucky. Blanca. He was very lucky. 
very, very, very lucky. Yeah, maybe Rina, do you remember? Is it did did people know where to send helicopters? Oh, sorry, I didn't remember. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I will find out. Maybe I'll post it on my Facebook wall. Yeah, I'm interested if how they would know. I mean, maybe he had gone there before or something. No, but when I, you're I stuck in a it. canyon. Sorry, in the movie it says that uh, he met a family, and a family sends for help. Oh, in the movie it says that. Yes, I just find it here. But uh, well, in I the don't story, know. I haven't seen the movie. I haven't seen the movie. But in the story, is not like that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you know Hollywood. They change. They yeah. make things more exciting. <laughs> um, but uh, okay. Uh, so I have a question. What was his reaction immediately after? What happened? What What did he feel? Was he like, "Great, I'm ready to go"? What did he think? He said, "I'm gonna join Verbling." <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> he said he was reborn again. Yes, Renat. He felt liberated. Exactly. He thought he was in a spiritual dimension and thought about all the prayers for people and things like that. Yeah, like he feels people were praying for him or something. Yes, uh, something like he, libera he liberated himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. What I understood is when he 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 has, uh, realized that he made it, he may make he made it and. Uh, He's alive. Uh, things are ch changed, so he has another taste for life uh, from now and on. I think it's not about cutting his. I think so. Maybe it's uh, when the story they are close, but when he realized that he's alive, he was about to, to die. The, so he's re reborn again. I don't know. He's born. Again, I think exactly. He is reborn. Or he is born again. Yeah, reborn, yeah. Because re already means again. So we uh, don't say I, reborn I, I again. Had the, I had a car accident. I, I nearly, I, I've seen the death in person wearing a, a nice suit. And uh, after I realized that uh, I, I'm not uh, dead, I, life uh, changed completely. So it I I know this you. yeah changed yeah so I know this feeling it's not about cutting I don't don't think so I agree that's why it's such an inspiring story because yeah. he went six days um now I want to ask you this question um do you think he thought he was going to die or did he ever accept that he was going to die and use evidence from what I read to you what do you think I don't remember. <laughs> That's okay. Yes, I thought he, he uh, I mean, I think he thought he was going to die. He has no water, for example. I, I think he has a couple uh, little of liters of water. I don't know, but he has a uh, few water and with no food, with no one to talk, with no help, you probably think I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. And did you catch Blanco? Uh, what? What did he do to uh, to the the side of the canyon? Did you hear? Sorry. On the side of the canyon. Did anyone hear what what did he do to the side of the canyon? When he during the six days. Uh, right in his will. Yeah. It said that. I, it I, said yeah. I, absolutely. I heard I heard something like will and. Remembering his, uh, I don't know. I, 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 maybe I. Yeah, um, I'm looking for the exact words here. Um, but basically, yeah, he, um, he spent time. Uh, I'm just looking for the. Maybe I didn't read that part to you. Did you hear about him etching on the side of the of the canyon? His. Yeah, uh, let me find it. One second.
There we go. Yeah. So he said, um, having been standing in my grave, writing my will, and scratching rest in peace on the wall of the canyon, all of that was gone now, and I'm alive again. Or I was alive again. Yeah, so uh, that was like the very, very end. Yes, so, I remember. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Poetic, right? Standing in his own grave, which he was. Was it figurative meaning, or he dug his, his grave for real? That's figurative. Great, yeah, it's figurative. Right? Because, I mean, he was standing at the, in the exact place he was going to die. Right? He was standing on, a, on another rock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, excellent. Okay. Um, and I agree with you, um, Blanca. I, I think he was ready to die. Um, and finally, uh, does anyone want to tell us, um, I, we only have a couple more minutes, but how do you think you would have reacted in this situation? I would cry like a baby. I'm sure he did that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I How's think that... No, no, well, sorry. No, 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 we have you. Wow, all the polite. You're so yeah, sweet. Um, <laughs> I, 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 will, I will scream. I think I'll scream and I'll try to ask for help. And I don't know. I feel sometimes... I don't know how to say this in English. I don't know the word, but I, I fell down. When uh, with no food, with no help in that condition, when you, oh my God, let me try. Say it in Spanish. Desmayo. Madre is uh, to die. <laughs> I don't know. Know. Like, I will. Uh, it says fainting. Something you would like faint. That. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then oh what happens God. when I will you lose wake my up? Mind. Yes. I, yes. I will lose my mind, so, mm -hmm. so that's for sure. You would lose your mind, exactly. You would lose your yeah, mind. I think the worst thing I, someone can ha uh, face is to be alone in such a terrible circumstances. I know, and I read his diary that he, or his own, he wrote his own journal after. And he said, you know, the worst part, the worst curse I felt was that I had food and water. He, he said that was the die. curse because he, he has food fast. and water and he feels, you know, at the time, of course, after he was happy that he had that, but at the time he thought, if I hate that I have food and water because now I'm going to stay alive longer in this situation. Mm. Right? Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> mm. um, what were you going to say, Aida? What I'm going to say that I think that nobody really knows uh, how we how will approach such extreme situations until you are in the in the really in the moment. But um, I think that uh, there is no doubt that everybody uh, will have more the survival instinct will appear in everybody. I don't know somehow. I don't know. It depends on the person, but. We all have a survival instinct that um, that we can use at that at the moment at that moment. And you never know what that is going to look like until you have yeah. to. Yeah, I think that maybe yeah. some, some things that uh, you always think that you mm, will never do, do, like amputate your your leg. You you will do it because if you. It is just the unique way to survive. It you will do it. Okay. Next totally. time I go to a trip, I'll bring my uh, with me a, a saw, so I won't I have know. to. Yeah. To I know. Thing. I know. I mean, that's why I said at the beginning, what would you, what would you do before? Mm. And you know, I, I have been riding my bicycle, my my bicycle, my bike, before, and I'm thinking, uh, one time, for example, I fell off of my bike and I was very hurt and it took me 20 minutes to realize my leg was not broken and I could ride home but I thought I'm all alone it is nighttime and no one knows where I am and then I read this story and from from then on I always tell everyone where I am always because that's the moral of today always tell people where you are 
Especially if you're going hiking in a canyon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I promise. Okay, good, glad. <laughs> um, excellent. Well, um, thank you all so much for coming to class. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'm just looking. What is my next class? <laughs> um, I'm it's about uh, present perfect? Yes, it's about all three perfect tenses. So I hope to see you there. And I also have, uh, after that, a lesson on the R sounds. R sounds. Helping you stop rolling the R's. Uh, okay, great. Thank you all so much. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Laura.